There's a thousand roads that get there And each one looks the same And with every step you're thinking Should you have gone the other way There are those who give direction Even though they lost themselves And those who finally get there Never leave no trace of a trail So if you're searching for Some peace of mind Out in a world That is cold And unkind Hoping Someone will Throw you a line Paradise is a hard place, hard place to find. There are wise old men who'll tell you that it's up there in the sky. But I've flown up there in jumbos, and believe me, it's a lie. There are those who think it's here and now. What you do with every day We better make the best of living We're gonna die for sure someday Searching for some peace of mind Out in a world that is cold and unkind Hoping Someone will throw us a line Paradise is a hard place Paradise is a hard place Paradise is a hard place Hard place to find I'm not trying to be no prophet I'm not trying to change your mind But I think that this Searching is Just a waste of time Just a waste of time There are those who have religion Teach them how to live each day Yes, they believe in paradise All you've got to do is pray Myself, I'm easy. I don't really have to know. Just as long as I'm still breathing and I've got somewhere to go. Searching for some peace of mind. Out in a world that is cold and unkind. Hoping someone will throw us a line Paradise is a hard place Paradise is a hard place Paradise is a hard place Hard place to find Welcome, Richie Havens. Thank you. Where does the title of that book come from? That's a good question. It, 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 it's uh, something that's stuck in my mind. Uh, actually, I said it to myself when I flew over the crowd in 1969 at Woodstock. You were being helicoptered yes. in. Yes, and I said to myself, well, they can't hide us anymore. You know, that was to me the change, the biggest change in the world as far as I was concerned. Now who do you mean by us? Uh, us was 
was really the American people because basically what most people don't know is that um, I would say 20% of the people who were at Woodstock were over 50. That's not the popular and, perception. Uh, right, and another 20% under 14. So it was every age. And, and that's something, well, that's been my job for the last 30 years, <laughs> straightening out the record, you know. Plus, it was 850,000 people, not 500,000 New Yorkers. <laughs> they came from everywhere, and, th and that was what it was really about. Unfortunately, the movie doesn't show that uh, the people who were there were there uh, to, to sort of express their own sense of community with each other. Well, you write in your book about this University of Greenwich Village that, mm -hmm. that you experienced, <laughs> and I was surprised to learn that you came there and you first supported yourself as a sketch portrait Yes, I did, uh, I did portraits. I sort of got myself in, in, in uh, I opened my big mouth, you know. The, the guy had a little stand and he had six or seven artists, and, and uh, I always used to watch them because there were some really good artists there. I had never done it professionally. And the guy said, do you do this? I said, oh, sure. I <laughs> so he says, oh, really? You want to make some money? I got an extra seat here. So I sat down. And it was those copper sheets where you indent the faces. That was the, yeah. the lowest rung of the. So I, I, I sat there, and I had a first custom. I was scared to death. And I drew this, and I did it very well until I put the frame on it. And I realized I cut off the nose and the back. <laughs> So obviously I jumped out and I did it again real quickly and it came out well. And, and, and I said, wow, this is great. I could do this. So I was there for about two years. Um, I used to make like $300 a day. Which was a ton of money oh, in those days. Money. <laughs> too much money. Too much money. We stayed up all night. We ate at every rest. You know, we just hung out and had a good time. Really. And it seems that that was the same approach you used to, to getting into music was, hey, I can do that. Yes, uh, you know, I, I, there were songs, actually. It was the songs that I heard while I was doing the portraits that changed me as a human being, changed my life. People, there were people, Freddie Neal, Dino Valenti, they got me right off the bat because they were single performers and singing their own music. So I said, God, I, one of these days I'd like to do that. You seem to have come through a period, really unscathed, that wiped out a lot of people and I'm thinking yes. particularly of of drugs yes, yes. and the war and people just didn't quite make it through. Yes, you know it's true and uh, I tend to say that uh, my friends um, actually didn't die of drugs, they died of the business um, because that's really what made them go to drugs was the business, the, the, uh, the relentless having to be somebody that they didn't think they were. You know, Janice always thought that Janice she should have. Janice Joplin. Yes, Janice Joplin always thought she should have been with Big Brother, but once they took her out of that, she was a very sad person. That was the, that was the group she started with. That's right, and for years, and and so that was her family. So I watched her. You know, we had the same management. So I watched her become a very sad person. So. How did you avoid that trap, though? Because you. You, I was busy. You experimented. <laughs> I was busy. You know, you know the, the most important thing to me at that time was that I was being privileged to be able to do this in the first place. <laughs> I still say, thank you, thank you. Thanks for letting me do this, you know, because that's the way I really feel about it. Richie Havens, thank you so much for coming today. It was really a great pleasure and an honor to meet you. Thank you for having me.